Awards, live from London. Direct from the Television Awards. The oldest twinkle in town. Nearer to Uranus than Jupiter. It's Peter Simon. A warm, warm welcome on this wet and windy night. And as you'll have already seen in the weather, it's been cool in Ghoul, there's been sleet in Fleet, and if you live in Lissingdown, you need to carry an umbrella. It is, it is a night of sheer magic tonight, because in the January bumper star buys, a lot of these products will go at a better buy to you than we could have got them in at. So it's as simple as that. If you like them, buy them. Now, before I start, thank you very much for all, and I mean all, your letters and emails. Now, a lot of regular viewers will know that I've currently been under the doctor. And Dr. Tizard, who is who has been my GP now for nigh on 45 years and should be a blacksmith, a lot of you will know that I'm on Wolferine. Now, this is a, a process of uh, thinning the blood, and so if you cut yourself, or like I did shaving last week, it bleeds for four days. And I am to go into the surgery, and I don't know how long your doctor gives you these days, all of that seven minutes. And he said, there's, uh, there's some good news and there's some bad news. Oh, I said, is it about the heart? Is it about me fallen arches? I'm riddled with worms. He said, the good news is you're not a hypochondriac. I said, well, what's to do? He said, you will take a pill every day of your life from today onwards. Look of horror. Went home. Jenny said, what's the problem? I said, uh, Tizard, doctor, I've got to take a pill every day for the rest of my life, Jen. She said, don't be stupid. Eh? There are many, many people have to take tablets every day of their life. I said, yes, but he's only given me four. Now, we have a... We have a packed night, a packed night of jollity and fun. By the way, if he gives you the tube, to d don't, all right? And if that doctor comes up you with one finger and says, I'm going to take your temperature, go and ring somebody, right? Because I had it all this week. Uh, now, on a week that I've seen lots of things, by the way, the price of lamb. Have you known, eh? Honestly, Cuthy Costlot, the little old, he's been there for many years in the village. I was talking about mince. He said, oh, it's gone up. I said, not for years. Anyway, <laughs> so he said, well, what would you like? I said, oh, I'll have a sheep's head. And could you leave the shoulders on? Anyway, on I went. I've had a week of that this week. I've had wind in the belfry. I've got, a rub <laughs> I've got trouble with the gossip. Anyway, let me just say.